Hi guys, Shomofo here, back with some more Robocraft fun. And what are we having today? Well, uh, once again I'm stuck in a position where I've got a lot of bays um, to get victory bonuses on. And uh, I really need to be getting on with that. I bought a new bay to build my Bot of Doom, which is just awesome. And uh, by the way, uh, that's helped me get to uh, nearly level 70 having a bit of a play with that. But it hasn't got me very much RP whatsoever, so still below 5.5 uh, million there, but I you know what, I was going to get up to 6 before I built anything, but I think that's that's a fair wedge to be playing with. Um, also, uh, where's Hive Mind? Here we go. Uh, Hive Mind, I've actually taken him up to the Mark 4. And look at this chap. Resplendent in blue, and uh, with a little bit of red on the tail here, and a little bit of uh, stingeriness on there. And uh, let's see. Hmm, I haven't got any, but if this, imagine this was one of those, and I popped him on there. Um, I could possibly have something like that on there. That would be lovely. Would another one take it over? Yep, another one would take it over. Hmm. Well, that's actually uh, really tempting. Really tempting just to give him a black tail. Oh, look at that deadly stinger. There we go. That's lovely. Uh, so that's pretty much maxed at tier 6 and is a lot of fun and uh, I've been having quite a nice little play with that chap and uh, I'm going to do a gameplay video of this guy just taking him out and having some fun with that uh, sometime soon but I'm not going to do that right now. What I really need to be doing is uh, these bays here uh, from 10 above up to uh, 14 these are all the store bought stuff. Now uh, Meme Machine was the only one I really liked uh, that I thought was functional and you could get away with just using that. Uh, it works pretty well and you know without modification you can get away with this guy and it inspired me to build my own kind of flatbed tank design um, which was Rolling Death and uh, I've been really pleased with how that worked out. Um, so um, this guy, although I've not been playing with him, he needs the least work doing to him, I feel, uh, for a tier 3. I may even keep him at tier 3. I don't know what to do with that. Um, T5 Plasma Bomber is a joke. Um, it's not the kind of um, building I enjoy anyway. I don't enjoy this kind of uh, gun placement. Um, and it flies really horribly. As you can see there, I haven't even bothered to repair him since the last time I used him in a demonstration of what the craft is like. But I'll do that now. I'll repair him so you can have a nice proper look at him. He'll need some work and I'm not sure what to do with that chap. Um, so I'm not going to mess with that right now. Let's have a look. Okay, so 13. This fella, um, tier 7, yeah, I don't really like it. I've seen a lot of people with these, seen a lot of people with converting these to uh, higher tiers, like tier 10 and doing it out all, all in black and stuff. I think that would cost me a very fine penny. Um, so I'm not going to do anything with this guy at the moment, um, although it would be nice to get the electro plate off. It would be nice to do something with, I just feel... It'd be a little bit expensive and possibly need a bit more thought as to what I was doing. So, uh, I think we're going to do something with the Apache. This is a tier 2 hover and it's uh, plasma weapons and it looks alright. I don't particularly enjoy the colour scheme on it but I'm aware it's uh, trying to fit into tier 2. It's got a little bit of electro plating on there. Um, I'm not sure what tier these guys are. These are probably tier 2. Let's just see. Um, oh no, they can't be T2. They must be... Uh, 
empty trees. I've got nine of those. So if I take one of those off. Yep, I've got ten. Those guys. T3 plasmas. And it's only got four of them. Oh dear. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do something with this chap. I really think it's terrible and unstable. Um, and I don't think... You know, uh, for the size of it, if I was building a T2, I'd probably build something like my death bot and make a really small, uh, over-tiered craft just to annoy people with and to deal as much damage as possible and rely on my cunning uh, wit and skill to kind of avoid taking too much damage. Um, this guy, I, I quite like the shape of it. I really, really do like the shape of it. So, it's quite a slim build. Um, so perhaps we can modify this and make it into a hellish um, T9 or T10 beast. Um, I have, after all, got these bad boys, these uh, hover blades. Um, let's see. <laughs> That's not going to fit there, is it, sir? No. No, so it would require some work. Uh, but just these guys on their own. Let's see. That takes it to six. That takes it to seven. <laughs> uh, where could we fit these on? Uh, I'll just pop him there. Still in seven. Well, that's taking us to T7 with that alone. I imagine once we chuck the weapons in on top of this, we're going to have something that is... Uh, T10, T9 or T10, I imagine probably closer to T10. Uh, but yeah, I th you know, I've had these for a while. People have been asking me to do a hover tank. I've got this guy taking up uh, space in the bays. So let's, uh, let's maybe see what we can do with this. Now, what have I got in terms of weapons? Okay, well, I've got four T9s. And I've got one T10. So if we come out... Oh, what a shame. What a shame. If I use these and it's T10, they're not going to be good enough. Especially if it's only got four of them. Um, hmm, I may go an SMG tank, though. I haven't really got... Um, I've got a little plasma. I've got loads of plasma stuff. Um, SMGs. Oh, again, we've only got nine. So I haven't even bought... Haven't even bought a ten. How much do they cost? Um, let's see. But Bigora, look at that! Look at that! Haven't even got one of these. How big are these? My word, they're massive, aren't they? Whoa, that wouldn't even fit on there. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. I think we can do something with this. Okay. Well, uh, first things first. Let's take off everything we don't need. don't think we're going to be using a T1 radar. I don't think we're going to be using a flipper. Or at least if we are, we're not going to rely on just one. Uh, for the time being, we can leave all of those there. And let's have a look at our blocks that we've got. We've got one black cube. Oh my word, this is going to get expensive now. Watch, watch all of my hard-end RP disappear. Um, and I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to be replacing prisms and cubes, so I'm going to buy 30 of those. And then I'm just going to buy 19 of those to even that up. Ouch, back down to 4 million. <laughs> okay, um, let's start with the underneath. Actually, let's see what these are. Okay, so that's a solid block. And that's straight through to the glass. OK, 
Okay, and we've got this in here to work with as well. Uh, okay, that's going to be a problem. Is this a cube as well? Yep, they're cubes. Now, actually, um, I think what I'll do is uh, I'll fill this up with prisms instead. I'm not going to be able to see which way around this is until I place it which way. No, I want the flat side to be actually... Oh, this is so fiddly. No. There we go. Actually, let's turn that one around. Okay, and I think in here we can have this one, hmm, I want him attached to a block, I'm going to need to put a block in there, and then I can put you there. Hmm. Let's see. Are we going to have something attached to this? We might have something attached to that. So we'll take that one out. We'll put a block in there. And we'll throw a prism. in there to block off the bottom. Okay. Now. One of these isn't going to fit inside there. There we go. So that's that guy in there, and we'll have to do some remodeling around this, but we know that that fits there now. Can't place you on the floor, never mind. Okay. And let's see what this is under here. These are just blocks. So again, oops, wrong thing. you in there. Pop you there. Okay. What's the deal with this? Actually. There we go. That seals that up nicely. That's an inner. That's a couple of inners that we've got there. I don't like how that goes. Um, I think mine is going to go flush. Um, so, if it's going to go flush, or is it? I 
Oh, that's really hard to see. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. I really can't see. Uh, maybe if I look from a different angle, is that correct? No. Oh. There we go. Let's leave it in for the time being. Oh, really? Okay, um, I'm going to need a load of... Uh, I think a few more inners and a few more uh, tetras. So, Absolutely awesome. Okay, so we're going to do the same again for this. I'm just going to pop one in there like that. Pop one in there like that. That plugs that up rather nicely. Oh, no, didn't want to do it that way round. That's the way. Awesome. Okay, not too bad a start. Where are we? <laughs> Tier 8 already. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. Okay, and um, let's see. In here, what we probably like to do is have them pointing out. Nope, one more. There we go. Hmm, should I be taking these blocks out underneath? I haven't. They're not already on there. I have there. Hope I'm not going to lose ones in here. Don't want to have little bits of brown lost in there. And that's an inner. And we've got the pilot seat, which is just, I think, below here. Yep, so we're going to want some real cubes. Ah, of course, that's, that's now changed how that goes. Oh, that's tricky. Hmm. Still, that's going to be above the main thing. The front isn't connected to that. That might be a bit difficult. That may well be a little bit difficult. Hmm. What to do on this? We 
just going to give them a little bit more to connect through to the front and then um, I think on this side he can have does he want it? no he doesn't want a solid one there actually let's block him out here nope not that way Oh, so hard to get these. That's the side I want. Oh, no. <laughs> Turn around. Is that correct? Nope. There we go. Tell me these aren't inners. Oh, I've been put in, putting inners in. Why did nobody tell me? Why did nobody tell me that these guys were inners? No wonder I couldn't see what was going on properly. Okay, I'm just going to leave that open for now so we can see inside. Oh, this is tricky. Reworking a craft is difficult enough at times without... I think actually we're going to have these ones like this. Without um, having to rebuild something where you don't even know the structure yourself and you have to kind of uh, guess at it. Now what's what's in there? That looks like I've accidentally stuck an inner in there. Yes, that looks fine, that looks fine. Okay. Phew. Well, that's not too bad. Okay, uh, let's get the inners again. That's how it goes. Lovely stuff. Oh, run out. Oh. 
Oh, excuse me. A little bit of windy pops there. Okay. Um, yeah, we're nicely into eight here. Okay, now these guys probably aren't going to be here. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to fill out the design and uh, modify it as we get to those parts and, and need to sort those things out. Uh, yeah, that's just a standard cube. Um, see, that's an inner there. Um, actually not going to use a standard cube. I'm just going to replace these ones. Oops, turn it around to fill in the hole. I'm just going to use a prism there. Just to help try and keep the weight down. And to not have all of them connected to the hub quite so much that's going to need a cube to stand on which is going to be a bit tricky um, hmm. okay that's an inner these are standard cubes and there's not much we can do about that. This one, however, uh, we can get away with changing. take you off there for now. That's starting to look nicer already. Okay, and we want an inner. For there. Two can be solid and this one can be a tetra uh, sorry a prism. Oh that that looks delicious already. Hmm, I do enjoy that. I'm not sure I'll be keeping the glass, I may well swap that out for something else um, not too sure yet what I'm gonna do with that um, but we will see okay so we're nearly done on the bottom here gonna need some of these Do with some inners. Oh, 
Oh, wrong way. There we go. Pop our T9 back in there. Lovely stuff. Oh, this is going to take a lot of work. Now, that's not going to fit in there as is, so that will need some um, design changes to it as well. Uh, we've got that cube missing on that side and on that side. So, that's fine. That's going to be the tricky one. I may have to put solid cubes in there. I don't want to. Or we may have to build something for it to sit on and then replace it. Um, so, for example, I could take a solid cube, pop that there, get rid of that, take the prism, attach that there, take the solid cube out, pop you back there, jobs are good. Do the same on here, pop a solid one in, take you out. Up the prism in there and then replace that with a prism. Okay, we may have to do this uh, a fair bit along. I wonder what that was on the other side. Oh, that's fine. Okay, probably going to have to do the same um, to get the inner on top of that. Okay, I'll just do the same on the other side. Good show. And for this one, I'm going to use a solid. And then I'm going to pop. What are we going to do here? Is that actually hollow? Oh. Ooh. Hollow little space. Um, hmm. Oh, I think I'll have that there like that. Me down there. Yep, that's where we're up to, so it's fine. And cover that like that. May even hide a jet in there or something.
Nope, not what I wanted at all. Oh, none of those left. Boy, this is going to cost me a pretty penny, isn't it? Okay, now we've got to fill these spaces in. Um, hmm. How am I going to do this? Filled in the top now. Um, I can't attach anything to that, unfortunately. You know what, I'm just going to pop some solid ones in here. It's just for convenience sake, really. And in fact, I'm just going to do this back row with solid ones. Uh, give it a bit more weight. And of course, once I take it out and, and see how it gets hit and where it gets destroyed and stuff, I may have to change how some of this is. I may have to go in and uh, link other parts up uh, with more solid pieces um, or I may want to uh, take some of those solid pieces out depending on how the damage is spreading okay Ho. That's not looking too half bad. Um, I believe we're definitely going to be in T10 by the time this is finished. Uh, this back bit is probably going to need reworking anyway. So, um, I'm probably going to get the design on it on one side done and then fill out the other side. But at least I think we know. Uh, we're going back here with this. Oh, I should have. Should have filled all of this stuff out. How many deep is that? Right, so that's already filled in. That's an empty one. Oh, what a shame. Um, <laughs> it's got a nice little weighted cube at the back there. I don't think we'll be needing that anymore. Underneath. 
Ah, uh, no, that's exposed, so it's going to need to be solid. Okay, and we can do these bits. Um, I think if I just put a bit there and there, then we can get away um, with having these. Like that. Ah, now that bit's not connected anymore. So, and that's really nice about this uh, red indicator thingy-me-jig. That's not connected anymore, but we are going to have it connected with solid cubes to there. So, that's not going to be a problem. The moment we pop you on there, they're all connected again. Get rid of you. There we go. Lovely stuff. Well, it's, it's not far off at least uh, replacing all of the blocks. Um, and this back bit is the bit that's going to have to change quite a bit. So, I think we can just get rid of what this is like for the time being. So we can go with our inner here. Uh, do we have any more inners? Yes, we do. at last. Uh, let's throw our little prism in. Uh, do we have any more of those? Yep. So we're going to take all of this off here. And, um, well, it looked like from the design that it needed some weight in the back. So, I think we can be fairly happy having the solid back. Oh, none left. Oh, look at this. This will take us uh, under 3.5 million. How awful is that? This is costly business, this stuff. I can tell thee. No, it didn't go like that, did it? have anything underneath it? No, it doesn't. None of those left either. Are we going to have enough left to buy any weapons for this? Harsh. I think it had one of these here. 
I can't remember. Um, you tell me, but that's what I think. It's hard. Okay, again, if I want to place these there, I'm going to have to place something underneath at first. I'm just going to leave them for the moment. Right, okay, uh, let's just see what time we're at. Oh, 45 minutes, 46 minutes. Terrible, terrible stuff. Okay, now then. Let's take one of you and throw them in there. And one of you and throw them in there. That's pretty nice looking. We're in T9 now. Uh, you never know. Um, I may get away with making a T9 vehicle. But uh, the weapons and the jets and things that I'm going to put on this, uh, I don't think so. I do not think so now. There is no way that that's fitting in there as is. That's a shame, isn't it really? That really is a shame. It'd be more like that. I'm going to need to buy another one of these. Um, these were the nines, I believe. Ouch. Where did that go? That goes in another one. Oh, that's an inner, that's why. Now, why does that one look like it works and the other one didn't? That's weird. Has that already got that on it? Yeah, that's strange. I had to do something on one side that I didn't have to do on the other. And that's weird. Uh, but there you go. Now, this isn't protected on the other side. I haven't got any of those. Uh, but I could possibly pop something out onto there. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Very tricky. Very tricky. Let's see if it flies. Oh, this is nice. I've never had these uh, hovers out in action before. Whoa, it wobbles. Quite unsteady. A lot of wobbling to and fro. Can it go over these things? Flips over. Oh, it did manage to write itself. Does that happen a lot? 
Yeah, it does does seem to want to write itself automatically. I'm not I'm not really doing anything there. I'm just flailing around. And no, we are upside down. Okay, upside down is something I don't like to be because then you have to use reverse steering. But it does it does seem um, to favour landing the right way up. I may put a flipper on it, or I may just uh, see. I mean, it's going to balance differently once it's got the weapons on it. Um, but yeah. I think we may be having some more stuff to stabilise this. I'm not sure what I'd do. Um, maybe even have some helium in parts of it. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see once I've got the weapons on because the, the weapons and the rest of the modification to it uh, will be making a lot of difference as to how it balances out. Okay. Um, it's just self-destruct. Okay, uh, what are we going to do next? Well, we're going to have to think about these weapons that are going on it. And uh, I think they're going to be T-10. Uh, where was that T-10? Top mount. That's got nowhere to fit on here now. It won't fit on there. If I add weight onto the top of these, is that then going to flip them, flip them down? That's a tricky one in itself. Hmm. How much CPU have we got? We've still got a fair bit of CPU with this, which is nice. Okay, uh, I'll have to take a real block. Oh, none of these left. None. Just making me spend all all of my hard earned on this. This best be a beast in the battlefield, or uh, I'm going to be rather put out. That's the trouble with these builds. Uh, having said that, if I have to scrap this, I've got a lot of black cubes to play with to build something nice and shiny. Okay, well that looks weird, and I imagine it will look top heavy. Oh, I don't like the idea of it being off to one side. I'd much rather that was three by three, so I could center it. Uh, makes it much less difficult for me to choose where to place it. Okay, let's try this on the other side. Oops, bit of lag.
Oh, I'll probably want that covered up. Somehow. That doesn't look nice. Um, we'll figure something out with that. I may even bring this out further. Uh, on the body. Who knows? Who knows? We'll get to that. I don't like how that's the uh, the little bit that, that holds that is exposed and can be shot. That would just take that straight out, making all of this entirely pointless. I, oh gosh, I'm going to have to buy another one of these. My word. No, don't buy the front mounts. We've made that mistake before. It's a terrible mistake to make. Leads to all kinds of confusion. And I want at least four of these for now. Okay, what happens with that top heavy weight? Yep, it's going to tip a lot. Awesome. Although I don't think it will be up against uh, craft of such low caliber. I didn't handle that ridge too badly. Okay. Okay, well, there's a lot more to be done with this. Um, and I'm probably going to... I'm down to, like... Uh, I'm going to be down to 2 million RP soon. So, uh, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to leave this for now. Uh, we're going to take... Let's see, I haven't got my victory bonus in Bot of Doom. So, let's have a quick battle with this chap. Good stuff. So, yeah, what I'm probably going to do is uh, seen as this guy, while he might get me some kills, uh, probably isn't going to get me the RP that I need to do anything with that lovely design. Um, I really don't want to come out on my own. Uh, and there's only one chap here with me. Let, let's wait for some other guys to get into it. There we go. They can lead the way. Come on, handle that bridge. Is that rail or something? I'm just going to hang back here a little bit. Oh, not great. There we go. That's one of them. Two of them. Weapon gone. No victory for me here. And death. What a shame. What a shame. You cunning feed, Cannibal King. That's a nice scorpion there, the hammer, I think that was, or the hammer. Okay, so <laughs> that really isn't going to get me enough RP to be uh, building what I need to do and get my RP back up. Um, so, I'll, I'll probably pop in and get the victory bonus on him anyway. It is fun to play with. Get battles nice and fast with it. Let's get rid of this big gun it gets in the way. Um, let's see. Uh, I do also want to show you the improved Hive Mind Mark IV. Okay, so we'll just try and get a quick battle with this chap. Okay, and it appears that we've been put into a ranked battle. So this is going to be even more fun for me. 
Um, I think I'm going to head on off here. Oh, there's a lovely bus. Nice bus, sir. Let's get on out quickly if we can. And we're going to try and head up on here. Oh, going the wrong way though. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. Maybe let's uh, move from there. Where's he gone? There he is. Oh, the fiend. <coughs> what a fiend. Oh, I'm just shot over him. Oh, he's going to do for me if I'm not careful. Yep, 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 yep. Where's he gone? There he is. Oh, missed. So hard to hit aircraft with plasma. Best I can do is keep spotting him. Oh, stuck. Got him. <laughs> oh, all weapons gone. And destroyed. Terrible. Looks like we downed him, though, which is awesome. Haha, <laughs> unlucky. Well done, Scrooby Bear. I enjoy your bot. It's very nice. Okay, guys. Well, I'm probably uh, going to need to hit the T10s. Um, so, I'm going to be out in the uh, Snub Mark IV and Blue Thunder Mark III. And I'll be rinsing through, trying to get a load of RP. And y you never know, I might even um, do a little gameplay uh, vid on these guys uh, in the meantime, while I'm racking up the RP, to finish the work that we're doing on this T2 Apache. Uh, and I, I think we'll be able to rename it uh, from T2 to something like, well, it's currently T9. So let's just change that to T9 for now. I'm sure it'll be T10 by the time I'm finished. Um, and we'll just give it the Mark 1 designation. And that's your lot. Um, so I'm going to have to do a bit of solid grind now. I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed that. If you do like the videos and you're not subscribed, please subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good fun. And I'll see you next time for more Robocraft. Uh, bye bye